Bishop takes Rook. Of course, Woods knew what it meant. Adler was pointing us somewhere. The Black Sea. According to Woods, 15 years ago, he and Adler discovered an abandoned KGB safe house in Bulgaria. It was called the Rook. Last year, before Adler disappeared, he'd been chasing rumors of a dangerous paramilitary group, one receiving orders from inside the CIA. He believed the Pantheon was developing a new type of weapon with plans to unleash something the world had never seen before. And wouldn't you know it, soon evidence surfaced incriminating Adler himself, and he fled to this place. What we found here over the last couple days has changed everything. Now I'm questioning what I believed about Adler, about Livingston, about the CIA itself. I have my doubts about going dark on Jane. Woods might be right about her value on the inside, but she'll be in the crosshairs if Langley learns what we're up to. Adler brought us here for a reason, to stop the Pantheon before they strike. To do that, Woods believes we'll need him back. That won't be easy. But Adler left the name to follow. It's a good place to start. No more wasting time. You know the plan. Savati Duma, the person you're gonna meet. Still no idea why Adler was in contact with her, but a lead's a lead. We can't trust her. I doubt if Adler did. Hell, for all we know, she's part of this fucking Pantheon thing. Who can we trust? Duma agreed to meet Case in Avalon, so we're doing this. Well, well, well. Look at you putting your big boy pants on. Shouldn't we find Adler before making this call? Well, that's exactly why I'm going to Munich to wine and dine your old friend. Friend? Hardly. I can't stand the son of a bitch, but we need him. Sometimes you just gotta hold your nose. If he's as good as you say he is, by the time Case gets back, we'll have located Adler. If Livingston hasn't already stuffed him in a barrel. Our details are up on the board, Case. I'm headed out, so hit me up soon if you need anything. I've got a few ideas on how we can polish this turd of a safe house case. Let's talk when you have a minute. Daniel Livingston's been planning my retirement party for half a decade. He wants a youth movement inside the CIA. More creative and agile operatives, I recall him saying. If he wasn't the one who framed me, he sure was eager to believe the pile of horseshit that landed on his desk. He can hunt me down as long as he wants, but he'd never think to look inside a former KGB safe house, even if he knew it existed. <laughs> See, Daniel? I can be creative, too.
month on the couch, his wife's purse still missing. He noticed the calendar marked with his brother's birthday, just under the memorial flag. He slumped on the couch, his wife's purse still missing. He noticed the calendar marked with his brother's birthday, just under the memorial flag. Slumped on the couch, his wife's purse still missing. He noticed the calendar marked with his brother's birthday, just under the memorial flag. What's going on, man? The man both loves and hates being told what to do. That's a tough motherfucker in there. Lost his legs in Panama, lost his best friend. Langley gave him a chance to help run ops, but between me and you, it's not in his blood. The man's a soldier. His current situation, maybe he feels like he's on the front line again. So far, we've got nothing but Atlas homework. But he could be out of his mind. Whether he is or whether he isn't, those paramilitaries in Kuwait, they were the real deal. Well-armed, coordinated, motivated. Hell, man, I don't know. Seems hard to believe, but maybe I'm just naive. If Livingston's involved, he could have wanted Atlas off the board one way or the other. Worried? Jane's smart. Once Lingley knows we've skipped town, she'll make excuses for us as long as possible. Until then, comms are gonna put a target on her head, so we'll wait for the time to be right, and then we'll regroup. Am I worried? No. Just what we found in Atlas Files. An assassin, maybe 30 years old, came from one of Avalon's crime factions, the Guild. Appears she was raised through the Guild and then exiled, or Left, don't know. Whatever it is, Adler was interested, so I am too. Felix Newman's a former Stasi engineer and enforcer. Dude managed to crack the military branch of Arpanet a few years back, so I'm hoping he's got a sequel in him. You got it. I'll see you back here on Thursday. <sighs> All right. What kind of life savings you got? That a boy. Garpe fucking deal. Well, guess what? If we're really doing this, we've got to get financially creative. This place might have been fine for Adler, but for a team, I'm thinking overhaul, an armory, place to train, gear bench, not to mention anything else we might end up needing. There's that won't be free, though. Marshall found a few grand stashed in one of the rooms upstairs. Other than that, we're starting fresh. No touching our own bank accounts either. Someone will be watching. When you're on a mission, look around for any cash lying around. You're gonna Robin Hood your way through this. Steal from the rich and give to the poor. That's me. We were following an old KGB trail and a single recording let us here. Seemed abandoned. When we asked our mole inside the KGB about it, he knew nothing. 
Belikov thought maybe it was some kind of splinter group, not sanctioned by the Central Committee. Whatever it was, it doesn't look like a red stepped foot in here since 1968. Yeah, I don't think he wanted to get others involved. Looks like he was working on a trust list. As far as I could tell, he didn't contact anyone. That's probably why Adler was talking to Dumas, keeping it outside of Langley. We're gonna do the same, at least for now. The board behind me is how we'll track our spending. Give it a look. Just tell me where you want to spend the cash and I'll set it up.